The gun control debate in the U.S. gains momentum as conservative Fox News host Laura Ingram is essentially forced off air by a boycott. Jacqueline Vuga has the details. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. A lesson that one of the most popular hosts on Fox News, the most watched cable news network in the U.S., is learning the hard way. Over a dozen of Laura Ingram's top advertisers have pulled their commercials from her program. And Fox says the week off the host is now taking was pre-planned, but many think it may have something to do with 17-year-old David Hogg. He is one of the survivors of the Parkland school shooting and is practically a household name in America at this point. This is the start of the spring and the blossoming of our democracy. Because since the tragedy, he's become one of the leaders of the student-led gun reform movement that's took the nation by storm. Between TV appearances and mass protests, Hogg's face is everywhere. Joining me now from Parkland, Florida, is senior David Hogg. He survived the shooting. David, uh, thank you for being with us. Guys, it is so great to have you both back on the show. More people have died in America as a result of gun violence than they have fighting in war. It's not time for debate. It's time to work together. Let's put the USA over the NRA. In a recent interview, Hogg mentioned that he had been rejected by a number of universities. And for some unknown reason, Ingram decided to mock the student online, belittling his grade point average, and told him to stop whining. Now, in a different day and age, with different players, the whole thing may have gone unnoticed. But Hogg, who now has over 700,000 Twitter followers, chose to use his sway to successfully get Ingram's advertisers to boycott her show. She's only apologizing after a third of her advertisers pulled out. And I think it's really disgusting, the fact that she basically tried promoting her show after apologizing, or apologizing to me. From a tweet that she made, she is, she may very well never come back again. That's the power of this. This is about a group of people who have been almost anointed as untouchable. This is professional, professional, planned, organized. The Democrats don't have any issues. They have this one. They don't like Trump. That's, that's their platform. But this is the only thing that counts as an issue. Guns. They hate guns. They hate gun owners. They hate gun manufacturers. This isn't going anywhere. And the Laura Ingram Fox News story may change, but it will manifest and transmute into a new issue before you know it. And frankly, his attack against Ingram makes perfect sense, as there is no love lost between her and the left. We may be witnessing a turning point in the American political climate. Outspoken leftist voices like Hogg and his fellow activists were more or less sidelined. They were just the angry kids, mad that their agenda was not passing through. But now they have a powerful movement and a lot of momentum behind them that they're clearly not afraid of using. And their cause is getting the attention and support of a number of Democratic heavyweights, including Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and even Bernie Sanders as well. Let me especially thank the young people uh, at the high school in Parkland, Florida, who are dealing with their grief by standing up and fighting back. For many, Trump was seen as the voice of the people, everyday Americans whose concerns were often ignored by those in Washington. But today, a louder voice has taken center stage.